welcome to selenium tutorials today we are going to learn how to run selenium test script with the help of batch files okay see i have created two test cases with uh, see i have uh, different uh, java files okay so and prepare a test xml testng.xml file here i have taken a driver test okay this is a test i have taken and uh, which is extends from selenium link text okay this is my one test case where i have created web driver okay this is a public access modifier which you can use this web driver driver instance to other classes with the help of extends keyword if i am using extends keyword okay i can use driver instance to other classes so i have created so many but i will show you with only two classes this one is one this one is second okay this you have to create the test ng dot xml file this is my web driver test so why i have given only one class means if you have observed web driver test class is extends from selenium link text okay if i want to execute web driver test then it should execute selenium link text okay see so you can see here why because it is started from web driver driver instance class i have created in this class instance of the web driver okay that's why it will execute afterward it will execute this test web driver test and that's why i have created only one class name i have mentioned only one class name in the test ng.xml file this is the test ng.xml file here it will execute web driver test as well as selenium link text okay these are java files this is my package name we have seen selenium dot element web driver test okay now we have to create one batch file okay you can create from here new file okay you can create from file as untitled text file so that uh, you can create batch file with the help of in the workspace itself okay from where i am creating see one second selenium practice selenium youtube from here you can create new text okay and i have created the script for batch file which is saved under dot bat file okay this is my batch file if you have seen i have mentioned echo of which is for log file so where i am uh, creating some log this one in here where i have created this see apm tutorials under this i have created batch file dot log if you open this one it will give you the each and every line log file here it will display log file okay if, if you don't want to display log file then you have to remove this one just remove just remove this one okay i will copy paste here so now the log file now the back file which contains see project path so this is a project path i am mentioning just go to properties this is your project path okay i have a mention here means project location this is my project path in project should not be any spaces in your path okay that's why i have mentioned as underscore and uh, cd project path okay why i am using cd means if you open command prompt if you open command command prompt if you want to go to this path just you have to enter so like this you can use right so that's why i have given cd this way project path means it will go to within this path okay let me show you so here i have to go e so what is my project path cd apm tutorials cd selenium practice cd 
selenium utop so this is my path okay the help of cd directly i am mentioning going into this path okay next what we have to do we have to set class path which is a prior path slash bin if you go to here let's close this one this is a project path and if you go to here you will see the bin in folder here you are you are not able to see right if you go to here just go to your uh, project folder you will see bin folder okay which is having all your class files sorry this is all your class files class files are generated under bin folder so you need to mention class path this is a project location this one slash bin and uh, you need to mention all the libs why because if you we have created assign build with the configure build path whatever the jar files we have assigned through the configure build path so sub, if you want to run your test scripts with the help of batch files then you have to run through the command prompt okay so once you run your batch files it will open command prompt and it will run so that's why it has to be identified with the help of libs i have copy pasted all lib files what are the config build i am using jar files all the jar files are copy pasted under lib folder okay that's why i have used project path libs next it is showing java org dot test ng dot test ng this is a project path we need to provide the path for test ng dot xml file this is a test ng dot xml file okay this one i have given here test ng when coming to pass means if you are not mentioning pass in command prompt what will happen if you are running anything it will stay here means it will display the window that is which is under pass okay if you are not mentioning this pass command okay if you are not mentioning this pass command let's see what will happen okay just go to here from that you will you will run your batch file otherwise from here also you can run from this from here also you can just run see it is running test in the xml your test will start executing open a firefox browser enter google enter search keyword click on search icon this one click on image right if i am not if i am not mentioning pass command what will happen your test script is executed but you are not able to see log files so this i have open not able to see log file so what is happening executed successfully but you will not see any result here nothing is displaying right if you want to see result just go to here right click edit with notepad or notepad plus plus just provide pau is pass command once you provide pass command what will happen it will stop closing the command prompt okay let's run one more time let me close this window first and let's run it is running it will execute the script okay click on search icon again click on image icon image link sorry is executed right now this is not closed why because we have used pass command this is a pass then it is go press any key you can see firefox browser is open firefox browser is maximized test case run test total test run 3 failure 0 skip 0 okay clear intel google search okay what are the system dot out dot println code you have used written in this form it will display here if you enter it will close okay this is my log so now you want to save your log files in the form of text files in separate text files and in separate location okay this what you have to do you open notepad closing this save okay this go to new not text pad just give me give any name like a test 
log okay just open this one and save as same name with the help of dot log just you have to go to all files dot log okay save now it got saved with dot log okay if i am seeing you need to check the details i have seen this is a normal notepad if you open this one it will show you dot this is also notepad it will show you one thing just let me open with uh, see this is a text file if you open this another one see it is showing as dot log file right you have to understand how which file you need to mention just delete this one okay, now the log file should have a log details i want to save this log file under here dot log now just copy just go to practice youtube edit with notepad plus plus above the path it should insert okay save see echo off which is off why because if you, if you are clicking if you are setting it on into means it will not work it will not provide will not provide your log into that particular text file and set log file so same like we are setting the project path right set to same time we have to set the log file here path and we have to call log it to the log file log it what will happen it will call the log file and it will execute this particular steps are log into this test dot test log dot log text file this log it will call to log file so what are the log details are giving under command from everything will be write into test log dot log file okay once you run this file in command from you will not see any log details it will show you empty okay just run this one one more time close the firefox window okay now go to the path or from here we can run you have to before running you have to check that open with should be default editor okay it will run automatically it will open okay it will enter here you are not seeing any log see how you able to see nothing is displaying right okay this is a tools option which is saved under environment variable okay now we have to go to i have mentioned pass command that's why it is showing we have to go to this log file here you can go and click on enter okay see i have mentioned pass so that's why it is going it is also showing see everything log is displaying right this is a textng.xml file firefox browser is open this one google search enter google search keyword search box so total test run 3 failure 0 skip 0 now what you have to just click on enter it will close okay if you don't want to display this one just go to here just edit your file sorry sorry just edit your file remove the pass we okay, just close now run double click it will run automatically sorry sorry just go to here and run it will show you the details now after execution it will close automatically start if you have seen here it will close automatically close right now the log will display here see this is the first log previously and this is the second log see right there is no press any key to continue why because i have removed pass command from the batch files okay so like this you have to write sorry you have to write batch files and uh, you have to mention log file if you want to write your log to the particular log file for a test case execution uh, tracking 
if you have a scene in a command run you will forget what will happen actually so from this log file you can see each and every uh, test how many times you have ran okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos so that you will get more knowledge on selenium tutorials videos okay i will uh, give you the more real time example with each and every selenium topics in my youtube channel okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and please provide your comments in uh, for my videos and suggestions okay thank you please like and please share also thank you thank you for watching